guys. So, um, I filmed a mental health video earlier. That's why I still look really shabby and I'm not going to do makeup today. This is a lazy self-care day. I'm having a high anxiety day, but that being said, I had filmed an unboxing for a subscription box I got yesterday and the footage was awful. So I'm going to refilm it today. So a uh, just ignore the the messiness and the fact that I've probably been crying a little bit but yeah I want to be transparent I don't want you guys to think that like the mental health thing is a faked video or something like that I know no one's gonna think that but that's where my brain goes so uh let me set all this stuff down so I got the witchy subscription box from witchcraft way this was my first box and then this is actually the first monthly box they've done at all so and I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of the stuff I got I got seven items in this box and I think I paid 35 for it not too bad um it's a little pricier than most subscription boxes I I get I usually just get boxycharm I've gotten some others but boxycharm is probably my favorite because I get five full-size makeup products or skincare or hair or something like that and I appreciate that as someone who's an avid like, skincare and makeup lover. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing in my box was this Cottage Craft Magic and Ritual for Home and Hearth book. I think it's really cute honestly. I'm like it's about being a green witch and then there's stuff for getting rid of like insects. There's a little which is notes and scribbles. There's a banishing salt bowl ritual in there. I think that's pretty cool. It's it's, it's pretty cool. Let me read the little insert. This also comes with everything. It's a home cleansing besom spell. And then the back says the power within. And it has all the items listed. And in my description, I'll list where all these items came from. Um, just so you guys know. And then I'll, I'll try to link the Witchcraft Way website. Like I said, this is not, obviously not partnered with them. I am not a big enough channel to have gotten anything like that. But um, I still want to... You know provide information about them I really enjoyed this box so this is the cottage craft a handcrafted hand illustrated book featuring spells recipes and wisdom to cultivate a warm and welcoming home it's a $10 value I think it's really cute and I like the stuff inside of it I will mention a side note for a moment my husband went and picked this box up for me and we have a new um, office lady up front <laughs> And apparently she gave him a very strange look when she picked up the box. Someone mentioned, I think she mentioned something about her daughter having practiced witchcraft and she didn't approve. And our um, landlady laughed and said she wouldn't put it past me. I've lived here since 2011, so she probably knows. <laughs> um, and this is not to say I'm an active Wiccan. I actively practice or I'm not an active Wiccan or Pagan. I don't practice witchcraft actively. I just, I like to be connected to a very spiritual side of things as well as my own personal religious beliefs. I, I kind of, I'm a melting pot of ideas, I'd like to say. And I like the way some things like this make me feel. They make me feel calm and that's something I need in my life. And I only will ever do things like this where it's like, home and hearth and it's like cleansing and it's supposed to just be like bringing good vibes into your home into your your being i i 100 think that's a great thing so sorry about the ramble we'll move on the next thing i got was the witchwood tea house organic loose leaf tea and priestess it says awaken your inner priestess look at this it's got a little like wax seal on the back that's so cute and then here's the tea you probably can't see it it's really gloomy today so my lighting is horrible so i'm sorry Ingredients are lemon balm, yarrow, rose, chamomile, kava, cinnamon, dandelion, and mugwort. Let's read about that, shall we? What's here? Priestess tea is a beautiful, floral, sweet, and earthy tea full of flavor and aroma, perfect for introspection and self-care. That's what I was saying. Introspection and self-care. I like that. The next thing are these Dragon's Blood incense cones, which I adore. Dragon's Blood is my favorite scent, and these are really good these smell better than some of the ones i've had before love those that's my favorite incest incense to burn when i just need a peaceful moment these say dragon's blood is a wonderful 
base purifier and it's perfect to use when you need courage, strength, and protection. I used to burn that one. I would have bad nightmares, actually. The next thing I have is this truth oil. And it comes in this nice little, like, wrap with a little thing around it. And I don't want to undo it right now because it's really, really cute. All right. The truth oil is infused with calendula petals, Bulgarian lavender, and fir needle. Perfect for spells to increase clarity and truth within. I think some people, when you say truth oil, think, you know, you're going to put it on somebody else and, like, make them tell the truth but it's about finding your own truth which i like the next thing is this labradorite labradorite transformation candle here is the outside of it not that you can really see and then it's a little blue candle it smells phenomenal Mm, the Labradite, Labradorite Crystal Candle, Rosemary and Labradite Infused Candle is perfect for lifting your spirits and adding clarity of mind and spirit. I like that. A smell does make me happy, so makes sense. The next thing we have is this. I'm going to take it out of the bag because you can't see it super well in here. It is an obsidian pendulum. I honestly thought it was a necklace the first time I opened it because I'm special and it's been a while since I practiced anything. Um, I kind of hoped it was a necklace because <laughs> I love obsidian. But anyways, the obsidian pendulum is the perfect tool for self-reflection, protection, and growth, making this pendulum the perfect tool. And last but not least, we have these, which are plant ally talismans. And I'll pull some of them out so you can see. And then on the back, they have little things as well. This one says, Yaro, mother warrior, mama bear, see yourself through the eyes of the mother and be healed, protected, and wrapped in the deepest self-love you've ever felt. A love unshakable from the depths of the ocean to the cosmic floor. Swimming in stars, you are home always. The lake makes me feel good inside. I like stuff like this. That's, that's phenomenal. These say, these beautiful plant ally talismans empower your craft as they remind you to honor your herbal allies of all forms. Overall, like it was a small box, but it was really, really cool. Um, I, re I really like it. I actually think I'm going to keep this candle in my makeup room. And if I'm having kind of a stressful moment, I can light it and it'll help calm me. Um, everything else I'll probably put in a special area. I'm actually, I've said this for probably like four videos now. I'm going to eventually redo everything behind me and I want to put some shelves up and I might put some of the stuff I get from boxes like this back there kind of to display them because I'm going for a really, very me vibe. I really want to put a little bit of gaming stuff up, a little bit of makeup stuff up and a little bit of like things I really enjoy. And I bought a um, really pretty skull decoration that has the zodiac wheel carved into it. I found it like Ross for like seven bucks or something. And I love stuff like that. I've always felt that my zodiac sign fits me to a T. I'm a Pisces. I'm about as emotional as a Pisces can get. So it works out beautifully. <laughs> but yeah, um, overall, this was a really cool box. I really liked it. I think. I'm going to try it again next month, see if I still like it, and we'll go from there. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to, you know, have you guys a part of my journey here on this channel. Um, if you want more videos of unboxings, no worry, I'm probably going to do some. I have a boxy charm that's supposed to be in next week or so and I'm going to unbox it on this channel because that just sounds fun. Hopefully I will have unboxed it live on camera like for the first time. I'd like to set it to the side and open it. I think I know one thing that's coming in it though. Actually two because I got to do a choice and then there's a special item this month. So I'm excited about that. Maybe if there's some makeup in there I'll do a makeup uh, look with it. We'll see on the day. If not, maybe I'll do it a different day. But yeah, um, like I said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.